So for this particular off shoulder pattern, you will just need three um, measurements. You will need to have your bust, your hip, and of course, your desired length. Um, the bust, you're going to divide by four as usual, then add three or four inches, seam allowance. Then your hip, you're going to divide by four and also add three or four inches for seam allowance. The desired length, we're not dividing by four. It's not, a, it's not also a circumferential measurement. It's a straight line. We will just uh, leave it at 19 inches or, you know, you decide where you want it. But usually the standard is 19 inches. So these are the tools we are going to be using today to make this off shoulder top. You need obviously your marker pens or your long ruler pair of scissors, a very firm curve ruler, very important tool to have in your arsenal, very important. If you can get it, get it. And of course, your measuring tape and elastic. We are not going to use this elastic for draft. So the good thing about this pattern is that you're going to use one piece of paper to create both the back and the front pattern. So that makes it very easy, very, very easy to create. Now, I have two pieces of uh, brown paper here. One paper is going to create that front and back pattern, and the other paper is going to create the sleeves. So keep on watching, and you see what I'm talking about. So what I'm doing here is trying to prepare. Of course, we're going to follow our usual method, which is drawing a line at the edge of the paper. That you always do. This is a very easy style or easy way of creating your patterns. Now, each line represents a body measurement. So um, that's how we're going to start it. So as you can see, you're going to draw a line at the beginning of the paper or edge of the paper. That line is your shoulder line, you know, off shoulder line, because remember, we are creating an off shoulder uh, blouse. Now, after drawing that line, you're now going to come down two inches. I come down by two inches, draw another line across, as you see me so, draw another line. So we have two lines now, and one is two inches below the other. That line there is five inches down. We are drawing another line that is five inches below the first line. One, two, three, five inches below. That line is really the armhole line, really. After that, you're now going to put in your hip line measurement or hem line, basically. It's about 19 inches from the top of the paper. That is where the blouse will stop. Then what I'm trying to do here, or what you need to do next is, you're going to put in your bust measurement plus three or four inches allowance because the top is somewhat going to be baggy you know So we are going to use the very firm ruler. You know where you put in your bust plus allowance measurement? You're going to put that very firm ruler there. So when you put it there, you're actually trying to draw your armhole. 
Yes, yeah, so you see that I'm doing that there, drawing the armhole, curving it like that. That's it, armhole. It looks like it's half, right? Yes, because remember, it's an off-shoulder top. So you're only doing half of your shoulder, so to speak. Um, but it will make sense later. So now what we're going to do at the um, hemline, we are going to put in our hip measurement plus uh, three to four inches allowance, as you see I'm doing there. Your hip measurement plus three to four inches allowance. Then we are now going to connect. For this uh, pattern, we didn't use a waist measurement at all. So you see me drawing the straight line and um, connecting. And that's it there. That is the center fold and that's it there. And so what I'm trying to do is what you're going to do or what I'm trying to do is kind of create a curve at that end. If not, it's going to be too sharp when you cut that pattern on your fabric or when you cut the pattern out. So I'm just trying to create a little curve there. That's it. That is the pattern. That pattern you're going to use to cut the front piece of your off shoulder top and the back piece as well. Just one, just cut it out. It's gonna work for the front and the back. Very easy, I told you. <laughs> so next, we are going to do the armhole. Believe it or not, the arm, not sorry, not the armhole, the um, sleeves. The sleeves actually is a replica of the um, top, the pattern that we just created. It's a replica. It's just that it's obviously a smaller size. You're going to see what I'm doing. So same thing, draw a line at the edge of the paper. We're going to repeat the same steps that we did for the um, front and back piece that we just created. Draw a line at the end of the paper, come down two inches, draw another line. And obviously draw your five inches line as well. The armhole length is about 19 inches. So you draw it down there like that, draw a line across. So same thing, you see the lines? One, two, three, four. Four lines just like the main piece. Now we are putting a five inch mark there for the arm hole or the sleeves. After that, use your very firm curve to mark it round or, you know, create that curve. Very easy, just like the top. Just like the top, this piece, this this pattern is so easy that, listen, if you've not created any pattern before, just try and make this one. It's so easy. So, draw the line down. It needs to be straight. That's it. And there you go. Your sleeves for your off-shoulder top. That's it. So we're going to cut it out now and you will see. I'm just labeling it front and back. To remind me that obviously it's a front and back piece as well. So I'm cutting it out. Also, you need to cut it out. This pattern will probably take about one and a half yards of uh, fabric, one and a half yards, which, which is not much. So you can easily, if you have any spare fabric at home, you can just use it and make it. 
if you want me to do another video sh to show you how to actually sew this pattern together let me know in the comments please and i'll do that because you have to know how to insert the elastic you know all that it'd be nice to so if you want me to do that just uh, put put that in the comments and I'll, I'll create a video that we can sew together so i'm cutting out the sleeves There you go. Your pattern is ready. Front, back, and the sleeves. Isn't that easy? Isn't that easy? So I'm going to show you briefly, you know, how to put that on the fabric. I'm not going to cut out the fabric. So here, what I have is uh, two pieces of fabric. So I'm just showing you how to lay, you know, lay the pattern on the f on the uh, fabric itself. So I have two pieces here. So briefly show you and see. Now that part there is the uh, folded piece of the fabric. You always fold your fabric, and so you put that. Remember, I wrote and labeled that piece near the edge of the paper, center front. So you're, pl I'm placing that on the center fold of the fabric as well once i place it or once you place it you now have to um, cut it but i'm not going to cut it in this video if you want me to show you how to cut and sew this sorry how to um yes cut and sew this then let me know in the comments so you just if i was cutting it in real i would cut it around like that Cut it around, cut it around. That 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 you cut two, one for the front, one for the back. Now let us uh, show you how to do the armhole. Sorry, the sleeves. I don't know why I call it armhole, but yeah, sleeves. placement for this and you cut it like that and you have to obviously going to cut two pieces of that and that will be it so let me know if you want me to show you how to sew this together we will do a video on that but that is it the pattern is complete, ready. How did you find this video? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your viewership. God bless. Bye.